Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I just want to go over what a ping of death attack is and also how to defend against it. So before we go over what a ping of death attack is, let's talk about what a ping is. So a ping is simply, um, we can actually demonstrate it with this command right here. So a ping is an ICMP echo reply message that's commonly used to test a network connection. ICMP stands for Internet Control Message Protocol, and it's basically an internet layer protocol that's used by devices to communicate with each other. And so what we do with this command right here is we are sending four, so dash C here is for count, we are sending four ICMP packets to this IP address. And we can see the ping is successful from this output here. We had four packets transmitted and four were received with zero packet loss. And so now we know what a ping is, let's talk about a ping of death attack. So a ping of death attack is a denial of service attack where an attacker overwhelms a target machine by sending a packet larger than the maximum allowable size. So this large packet makes the target machine unavailable denying normal traffic to it. So when we ran this command up here, we can see how the size of the packet was 56 data bytes. We can actually set the size of the packet we are sending in this command with the, clear this out, with the dash S flag. So now let's run this. And here we set it to 72 bytes, which we can see reflected right here. So here we are sending four packets, each of 72 bytes in size. However, we can't just specify a packet of any size. So there is actually a maximum size. So if I try and paste in, let me clear this out again, a big packet, so I think this is 100,000 bytes, we'll get an error saying packet size is too large. So we have a max value we can send of 65,507 bytes. And so the reason sending a huge packet like this causes errors or can damage machines is because certain systems were not designed to handle packets larger than this maximum size. So this makes them vulnerable to the ping of death attack. And so the way the ping of death works is the malicious packet, which is the very large packet, is fragmented into segments. And then each of these segments is smaller than the maximum packet size. So our packet size could be 100,000 bytes, but it's fragmented into smaller ones where each size is less than this maximum. After the target machine receives all these fragments, it puts them together, and this leads to a packet that exceeds the maximum size. I actually have in the description on my course website coding a ping of death from scratch using Python and Scapy. So if you're curious on how to actually write something like this, check it out in the description. But now that we know what a ping of death is and how it works, let's talk about stopping it. So actually the ping of death attack has mostly died out nowadays as modern devices by default are protected against this attack. So this basically means that legacy machines are most susceptible to this attack. So say Windows 95, some kind of old machine like that. However, there are some ways to protect against this attack. Some being we can just adjust the maximum transmission unit size of a network to reduce fragmentation. So for example, if you run ifconfig right here, we can see some max transmission size. We can alter this to reduce packet fragmentation. We can even use, say, something like IP tables to block ICM ICMP packets. So we can block these packets using a firewall though there are downsides to this because then you couldn't ping anything or you couldn't ping your machine. And then we could add a check to the packet reassembly process to ensure the size constraint isn't exceeded. And this is typically done by vendors for operating systems and network devices. So this is usually done just by updating your software to the latest version. But that's the ping of death attack. Once again, if you want to see me code this in scratch with Python, check out a link in the description. But besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing. Also check out my Chrome extension, linked in the description as well. You'll probably find it pretty cool. And then just have a good one.